to Wildflower. My name is Romina Rasmussen and I'm the pastry chef at Le Madeleine in Salt Lake City. And today we're going to talk about the best butter for making a croissant. And um, the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that you're using a high fat content butter. And uh, pa most packages don't say what the fat content is. So you want to look for a European butter or a European style of butter because um, they always have about an 82 to 83 percent butter fat versus an 80 to 80.5 butter fat that's in the average salted butter that you find in the grocery store. Um, and it's important because croissants are all about the butter so you want it to be the best butter that you can find um, but it also makes the process easier because one of the things that you have to do when you make a croissant is to pound it out because we want it to stay cold but pliable so you're gonna pound it out and if you were to do this with a grocery store butter it would just break and then you'd have butter chunks flying all over your kitchen so a nice high fat content butter is really creamy and will stay together and make it really easy um, to make your croissant so see here, I've just pounded it out a little bit, but it's very pliable so that when I'm rolling out my dough, this is going to spread nicely between the layers, whereas the um, lower fat content butter is just going to break into little chunks in the dough. So that is how you select the best kind of butter for making a croissant.